Well, it's that time again. He's sitting here waiting patiently with a big smile on his face. And of course, he is one of your favorites. This is Mark Weisletter, author. You are like on that, so I call you the celebrity you know, lawyer, because really everybody knows you. Everybody loves you. And more importantly, you're all about educating, right? Thank you. Yes, Aaron. And it's so great to be here. All right, now here's what we're going to talk about. You had written an article talking about checking status certificates before selling your condominium. We've had a lot of questions regarding this, so maybe you can take us through. What do you mean? Every condominium resale deal today is conditional on the buyer and the buyer lawyer being satisfied with whatever is in your condominium status certificate, which explains everything going on in the condominium. Right. So there, there's a couple of questions. Should a seller actually see this piece of paper before they put the property up for sale? Most don't. And two, when can a buyer actually cancel the deal because of what is in the status certificate? All right. So clarify. Well, interesting. There was a case just recently where uh, a seller said that his maintenance fees every month were $282 okay. and there were no special assessments against the condominium. Well, when the status certificate showed up, it said $310 a month, which was a 10% increase. And it did show a one-time assessment of about $400 against all the units. And usually assessments means that the building may not be run properly uh, and the okay. owners have to kick it's in a bit money. of a warning. Now, the seller said, wait a minute, the 10% was because of next year's increase. I didn't know about that when I sold the condo, but the buyer said, I'm not happy. The case went to court and the judge said the buyer could cancel the deal. And so it shows you that as a seller, you should know what is in that certificate before you put the property up for sale so that you can disclose what mm. the proper maintenance fees are. If there is an assessment, disclose it, and you're not going to have a problem with buyers trying to get out of the deal. Well, because at the end of the day, sellers and their realtors are you know, supposed to disclose all information that is known to them. So let me ask you, how does the process work? So if I put an offer on a condo, then my realtor is going to request, or myself, a, a status certificate. Why then isn't the actual listing agent and their client, the, the seller, asking for one in advance and just providing it to people when they do That's a very deal. good question. In my opinion, that it should be available almost immediately to give to the buyer because then the seller knows exactly what's mm. in it and then the buyer can be told right away, yeah. this is the cost, you got your locker uh, set out, you got your parking mm. space set out, if there's a pet provision, you know about it. So all the important things when you're going to buy that condo is in the status certificate, so why not know what it yeah. says before you put your place up for sale? And as a seller, I think I would have better peace of mind knowing that there's no way they can back out. That's right. You don't want to give the buyers any kind of excuse to try to get out of the deal based on something inside the status certificate. How long does a status certificate typically take? So normally, am I right by saying it's the buyer and the buyer's, you know, again, representative, real estate representative that requests for this? How long does that typically take? Because it's a conditional phase. Right now, your offer is conditional until you, until you reviewed that document with a lawyer such as yourself. The law typically says that the corporation must provide this within 10 days of a request. Okay. So you have 10 days, but then so the condition doesn't even start for 10 days, and then you have a couple of days to review it. So for me, if the seller had asked for it in advance, so it's available, then you don't have to wait the time. It can be given, mm -hmm. and then the whole condition process gets shortened, and the deal can become firm much quicker, which is better for everybody uh -huh. in the real estate uh, deal. So your top five things to remember when we're talking about protecting yourself, whether you're buying or selling a resale condominium. Can we go through those quickly? Sure, I mean, the thank first you. one you said, when selling, check your own condominium status certificate, which you've just said. Uh, and again, these cost roughly around $100. Yes, it's $100, including HST, right. to get one. No big deal. Worth investment to save a deal, making sure it goes through. Two, if you know that there is an increased maintenance fee coming shortly, find out what it is and disclose it to the buyer before you sign any offer. That's right. If you know your maintenance fees are going up, for whatever reason, disclose it so it's not an issue. All right. Number three, if you know that there's any special assessments coming, you disclose them right away. Yeah, it's a problem. Special assessments are going to be a problem. They're going to upset people. You may as well be honest up front. All right. And when buying a resale condominium, make sure that your lender is also satisfied with the contents of the status certificate. Interesting. Even if you're satisfied, the lender or CMHC may have concerns and you may not get that loan. That's right. You might be satisfied with the seller's explanation about a special assessment and you want to close the deal. But if you're a CMHC 
customer, you have less than 20% down payment. If CMHC is not happy with that building, you're not going to get the loan. So you don't waive your financing condition until you've got a confirmation that the bank is okay with that building as well. All right. And finally, number five, buyers still must try and satisfy any condition in good faith. A condition is not an option to cancel a deal. What do you mean by that? Like in this case, 10% 10% difference in the maintenance fee allowed the buyers to cancel the deal, the special right. assessment. You just can't just change your mind because the sky is blue and you say, <laughs> you know what, I don't want to go through with this deal. you got to have a legitimate basis for canceling a deal based on the status certificate. You are the best, Mark Wiseletter. I'm telling you. How can everybody reach you? Uh, you go to my website, markwiseletter.com, uh, or call me, uh, email me, mark at markwiseletter.com. Very good. And, of course, everybody, remember, if you have questions for Mark, you can reach out to us. So visit realestatetalkshow.ca, or you can call our help desk anytime at 844-ASK-RETS. That's 844-ASK-R-E-T-S. We'll be right back.